Hey there, it's Lenny McGill with the Glock Store Performance and Custom Shop right here in San Diego, California. And we're going to talk today about the SS80, which, as you know, is awesome. I mean, really, here's one that I uh, uh, built recently. Uh, as you'll see, uh, looking good with some custom features and our new custom magazine extension, which is pretty awesome with a red and silver look matching up with our pyramid trigger, silver and red, and our extended controls in silver and our double diamond silver barrel and our pyramid slide. It's awesome. But we're going to talk about holsters today because I got an Instagram feed the other day and a guy said, well, I don't think the SS80 is going to fit into the standard G43 holsters. And I said, no, that's not true. When I designed this, I made sure it fit into standard holsters. So this video is about that. So let me show you this real quick. Here is a standard Glock 43. Okay, it's empty. And boom, it's safe. Now, let's go ahead. Here's a standard $35 holster that we sell. All right, it's a clip holster. You wear it inside the waistband. That fits good, fits tight, looks good. Boom, okay, comes out. SS80, same concept, looks good, feels good. Won't come out if I want it, just pull it out. Yes, Kydex holster works, but a lot of you are going to say, well, yeah, that's the Kydex holster. What about those leather holsters? Well, okay. <laughs> now, trust me, I did this before we released it. Here is a uh, DeSantis, and they call this the uh, Cozy Partner. This is a nice little holster. It's an inside the waistband. Got some snaps that come out. Trust me, they do. They're, they're stout, but they're supposed to be. And um, uh, again, factory Glock 43 goes in. It's a little bit tight. You got to push it in. Okay. And leather holsters are always tight, especially when you first get them because, you know, they, when they make them, they, they wet them and they kind of mold them around a, a, a steel a fake gun that has the same imprint of a 43 and a 17s or whatever the, the, the holster they're making it for. Uh, but the objective when you get a leather holster is to wear it in a little bit. So you would put it in and get a little wear channel so it comes out and you, you just feel comfortable. Uh, it does still retain. It does have a little retention strap as well, or a little retention um, uh, screw here, so you can screw that down and tighten it up as the leather loosens up over time, because it will, just like a wallet. So there's the factory gun. Here's the 40, uh, the SS80, okay, same concept. Yes, it fits in, it does cover the trigger very nicely. Okay, it does hold the gun, it does come out with ease. So that's easy. So that's uh, inside the waistband, no retention strap. One more I want to show you because, again, all the purists out there will say, well, what about the retention strap and all that stuff? Okay, so this is another DeSantis holster. This is called a uh, thumb brake mini slide, and it's a belt slide holster. As you can see, you wear it, you know, kind of on your body, close to your, uh, into your belt, usually out here or in the back. Uh, this one has the retention strap at top. It's a thumb snap. Okay, you, you break it with your thumb as you come down, then you grab the gun and come out. Uh, Glock 43, standard Glock 43. You can see it's a little tight going in. That's how they make them. Okay, so you have to push it in and it fits. Okay, it's in. All right, it's in there. Again, if you're going to use this holster, I'm going to recommend that you, when you first get it, you sit home and watch TV, make sure the gun is unloaded. There's no magazines around, no ammo loaded, anything like that. You've got a totally safe gun and you just sit there and put it in and take it out about a hundred times to wear the leather in a little bit so when you go to pull it out it doesn't <laughs> pull your pants up so you can still get it when you need to so there it is the Glock 43 standard here's the SS80 same holster the technique being put your thumb over the top of the slide get a nice clear shot in there it's going to be tight push it down seat it there you go covers the trigger and the trigger guard area, holds the gun as you need to, yank it out, okay? Now, here we go. I'm gonna go ahead and use this all the way in. Use my thumb retention strap. There's the snap. That's how it works. So the SS80 will fit in all your holsters, all right? Even with, now, let me show you something here. This is our new, and you haven't seen this before, our new extended slide stop for the Glock 43. Even with that, see how the little bumpy is there? You get in there close, you can see really right there, that little guy right there. Compare that to the, uh, the factory. Let's see if I can get some light on there. The factory one without that, and you'll see that this is going to be a big hit. It's much easier to manipulate 
and uh, let the slide go. So the answer to that question and to that person out there in Instagram who said they does not fit, well, you were wrong, and I was uh, right, and thank you very much for bringing it to my attention to show you this video because a lot of people thought, well, gee, it's not gonna fit in holsters, but yes, it will. I'm Lenny McGill. This is the SS80, and, uh, <laughs> and we are the Glock Store Performance and Custom Shop right here in San Diego, California. Thanks for watching.